Before I start, I want to go over some basics that don't involve trading cryptocurrency per se, but is nonetheless just as important. First, you will need to have a valid bank account in order to cash out of Coinbase. Coinbase will not accept prepaid cards, such as NetSpend, as a valid bank card. You can use PayPal, but when you use a pay method, you still have to have a bank connected to your PayPal account. You cannot set up a prepaid card with PayPal, then use PayPal with Coinbase. They want the bank. You can use bank cards, or you can connect your bank with a routing number to Coinbase. Plus, like I said, you can use PayPal too. After setting up your payout method and following some learning instruction, Coinbase will also give you free cryptocurrency. This of course, is paid to you with cryptocurrency called AMP and the graph. Coinbase has learning blogs and videos available that guide you through what cryptocurrency is. After doing these introductory tutorials, you will have gained about $5 worth of cryptocurrency in both the graph and AMP. It is up to you if you wish to keep this, but you can also sell it too. There are fees when you buy and sell with Coinbase. Be aware, these fees are expensive, so don't go crazy with your trading. To buy tokens, there is a $1 fee. To put money on your account, there is a 25 cent fee. Be aware of this every time you decide to trade with Coinbase. There is Coinbase One, which you can trade without fees, but you have to pay $35 each month for the service. Using Coinbase One might be a good option, depending on how much you buy and sell each month. The option for learning about cryptocurrency is available with PayPal too. The only difference is that Coinbase has something called Learn and Earn, where you go through short presentations that show you how cryptocurrency works. In the long run, this information will not help you with trading cryptocurrency, but it will help you better understand what it is and help you get started. After completing all of the, the presentations in Learn and Earn, I received $7 to trade with afterwards. I waited for about a week, and after determining I didn't want to trade with the graph, pulled all of it and converted it into cash. I had to pay $1 in fees to Coinbase in order to do that. Then I pulled everything that I received from AMP out, except for $0.93, cents, and converted that into cash as well. As a side note, I mentioned net spend also, and there was a reason for that. When I started, I had a plan, instead of using a bank account, I was going to use net spend. I got the card for free, and wanted to add money to it. When I read about everything that was involved in using net spend, I quickly realized that I was not going to be spending too much with that card. The fees for using net spend are very steep too. I took $15 and deposited it directly into the card after having it for a month. This is because, if you do not show any activity on the card, after three months, you will be charged a fee. So, if you use NetSpend, you must show some activity with a three-month time span, or you will have to pay a fee. After putting $15 onto the NetSpend card, I transferred